Hello, and welcome to Getting to Know Ape Console. My name is Evan, and I'm an engineer at ApeWorks. Today, I'll be guiding you through the Ape Console. We're going to take a look at the console from two different perspectives. The first is what I like to call unplugged, meaning that it is a fresh install without any other plugins required. The second portion will be plugged in, meaning we'll explore how plugins interact with the console environment to bring Ape to life. But first things first, what is Ape Console? Ape Console is an interactive Python shell that can be activated from the command line. To start the Ape Console, you first want to open your favorite command line tool and then type Ape Console. As a side note, if you need help or you want to see what options are available, you can add the dash dash help or dash h flag. The next option we want to explore is the dash dash network flag. It's used to pass the name of an ecosystem, a network, and a provider for that current session. The format for the network flag is the ecosystem, a colon, the network name, a colon, and the provider name. Ethereum is the default ecosystem. To see a list of available networks, use the network list command. The last option we'll cover is the dash dash verbosity or dash v flag. This is used to pass the message status level for the current session. The values you can pass are error, warning, success, info, and debug. Error is the most restrictive and will only show error messages. Debug is the least restrictive and will provide all messages. Okay, now that we're inside the console, Let's see what's available. Within the namespace, we're able to find some predefined locals. This includes some variables, classes, and methods. The first one we'll talk about is accounts. Accounts provides access to an account manager. The variable allows you to access both aliased, personal accounts, as well as some pre-funded test accounts. By default, there'll be 10 pre-funded test accounts available. So let's see what we can do. If I create an account A and set it equal to accounts.testaccounts and take the first test account, I can then check its balance. I can do the same thing and create an account B, except this time I'll take the next test account. If I wish to transfer money from account B into account A, I can do so by calling account B dot transfer and pass account A as an argument along with the quantity, in this case a thousand. When the transfer is complete, a receipt object will be provided showing the transaction hash. I can now check account A's balance and see that it has increased by 1000. Another variable is the chain variable. It provides access to the currently connected blockchain. This allows us to control the state of the blockchain because we're actually accessing a chain manager. If we want to know something like the timestamp of the last block, we can ask chain.blocks.head.timestamp and get an integer back. If we want to access the last block created, we can set that equal to the chain.blocks looking at the last position we see we get a block object back that has information about gas, the hash, a number, the parent's hash, size, and the timestamp. Another local is the config variable, which provides access to the configuration manager, or settings within the current project. The ape configuration settings are stored in ape-config.yaml but can be interactively accessed in the console. If we want to see the current configuration, we can call config.dict, which will return a dictionary showing the current configuration. If you want to know about what compilers are available, you can use the local compilers variable. 
This provides access to the compiler manager. It shows when asking compilers.registered compilers all currently registered compilers in the session. Out of the box, the only compiler you should see has a key of .json and is an interface compiler, ethpm. A helpful local method is convert. The convert method provides a conversion utility function. This is helpful if you want to convert your currency into an integer. We can say something like amount equals convert one guay int or convert one eth int. You also might use this to convert a string into bytes by calling convert and passing the address to perhaps a contract and requesting bytes. The network variable provides access to a network manager for the current project. With the network manager, you can also switch providers within the console by using the with keyword, passing the value of the provider you wish to use. There are two project locals. One is lowercase project and provides access to the currently active project. The uppercase P project provides access to the class, allowing the ability to load a project from a given path. Thank you for watching part one of the Ape Console series, Unplugged. Make sure to subscribe to Ape Academy on YouTube or check out the academy.apeworks.io website for more content. Be sure to catch part two soon to learn more about Ape Console and see how it interfaces and interacts with plugins. We'll see you soon.